What's up, guys? I'm Xavier Elon. I do uh, hacker rank and leak code question tutorials as well as just general programming tutorials. So check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, today I'm going over a simplify path on leak code. It's a medium problem. Um, the description reads: Given an absolute path, oops, for a file, Unix style, simplify, um, convert it to the canonical path. Period refers to the current directory. I'm sure you guys know how the Unix style file system works. Um, double period is going back directory or up a directory. Um, it, it should not end with a trailing slash and it must be the shortest string rep representing the absolute path. So they want us to get rid of, um, so get rid of extra slashes, the periods. Um, we have to, re if we have dots, we have to remove some of the directories accordingly. So right away, this should read um, hint to you that we need to use a stack. So it stacks less than first out. I'm sure you guys have used it. Um, the last thing that you put into the stack is the first thing that goes out of the stack. You pop it off. So it, uh, for example, spam. If for example, this is the password given, um, this one would we would normally pop something off but it's already empty so we just skip it oops i didn't mean to do that so we don't need to do anything we put a into here um we remove this slash we just skip it basically um we have to pop off the a so they were there put in the b um we skip the circle doesn't mean anything and we add the c so uh, what we would return is slash b slash c. And so we, let's just code that out. I um, already have it all written out. Okay, so first things first. Uh, let's create the stack string. Um, Stack equals new stack. Sorry, I had a brain freeze. And then let's create the array. So, um, what I'm doing here is we're going to use the split function, which is a function for strings in JavaScript. And we're going to split the string that it's um, is path by the slashes. So we basically remove the slashes and create a list out of it, or an array. Sorry. So um, if it was slash a slash b, it would return a comma b. So. <clears throat> That's that, and for string. So let's loop through, we're gonna loop through the vowels. Um, so if, the first thing we wanna check is if we, logically the first thing I would check for is if it's um, periods, we're just gonna pop it. So um, if val dot equals, Um, so stack dot pop. So this actually would not work because it's possible that the stack could be empty. So let's check for that as well. Stack dot. Let's make sure it's not empty. So that will work. And the other thing is um, just so push. Um, that's the only other option. I guess the other option is to do nothing, but we don't really need to code that because that'll be encoded in here basically. So stack that push val. And so the scenarios for this is the, oh, damn. The only scenario where we're gonna push is if it's not a period, it's not empty val that is, and uh, it's not a single single period so 
let's code that out. Val dot is equals sorry. Oops. Or not is equals equals. Yeah, you should see. So just empty. So that covers all the scenarios. And <clears throat> then we just want to return. We're going to want to add a slash to the beginning because it says we want to add a slash. Um, and then we're going to use the join function. So we have the array. We have the array, which is the um, or we have the stack. So we're going to want to um, the stack is a string. So we're just going to want to add slashes in between that. So the join function does that. We just put slash and then we put the stack what we want to put the delimiter as not the delimiter. I don't know what you'd call it in this case. So that should work. Um, submit it. And using JavaScript too much lately. All right, perfect. So the, it works. Um, uh, it's O of n runtime because we have to loop through the stack. And I believe it's just O of n, yeah, space complexity because we had to create a stack. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys.